Okay, hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tony, and I am currently playing, um, Super Nintendo, no, <laughs> oh my gosh, I am currently playing Super Mario World for the Super Nintendo, and I am doing little story times. So, today I am actually going to talk about, um, my oldest son per his suggestion um sorry i need to turn down the stream that i have left there we go hopefully you can't hear it in the background i'm not watching it or anything it just was on my tv um but oh also i don't know if you can see this but if you have never tried these like pretzel ball things they're the best things in the world and i love them so much I can only find them at one store and it makes me sad. Anyway, so Matthew told me that I should talk about him as a child. Like, specifically things he was scared of. Like, video game things. So. When Matthew was little, his father put a video game controller in his hand before he could walk. And this kid was 18 months old and was better on a computer than me. Okay, which I mean, isn't a huge feat. I didn't even have my first email until I was pregnant with him. But, you know, still, this kid, he, he was basically born with a video game controller in his hand, courtesy of his father. And I mean, I obviously like video games as well, but I didn't have as much time to play them. Um, and I didn't really play them at all um, after he was born, not for many, many years. Um, especially because my ex-husband was very, like, anti-video like video game. Um, he's not Matthew's dad, but uh, me and Matthew's dad split up when Matthew was a baby. And then uh, me and my ex-husband got together when Matthew was almost three. Um, and, oh, shit. Okay. Uh, oh, my gosh. Oh, balls. Um, but anyway, so... He had a GameCube in his bedroom that I actually bought when I was pregnant with him. And then I put it in his bedroom. And my ex-husband was very much, kids shouldn't play video games, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, sorry. Not going to work in this family. Um, he really did not want Matthew to play video games at all. But he did. And there was really nothing that he could do about it at that point. Um... Sorry, I'm not trying to make every video bashing my ex-husband. Um, but that was why the um, GameCube was in Matthew's bedroom, specifically even though he was only like four or five years old, and not in um, the living room, because my ex-husband was very anti-video game, but he also, uh, like I kind of had like a rule where, even though he was my husband and he was my son's stepfather my son had a father has a father still and so my ex-husband was not really permitted to make unilateral decisions you know what i mean like even when matthew like wanted to dye his hair his aunt who is his his dad's sister checked with his dad and checked with me she messaged me to make sure i was okay with it i said yes I did not run it by my my husband at the time. I did not even really say anything to him. Matthew came home and his hair was dyed and my ex-husband got very angry and said, I did not okay this, I do not want his hair dyed. And I said, well, it's not your decision. Me and his father made that decision. And a lot of people would probably say that that was shitty of me, that, you know, I wasn't letting him have any, you know, authority or whatever with my kid and that's true I wasn't but here's the thing if he was a good nice reasonable guy who wanted the best for my son and um you know had his best interest at heart of course I would uh, of course I would have you know taken his opinion into you know into account and you know talked to him about things like that but he always had like a chip on his shoulder when it came to 
anything to do with my my ex and and myself like he essentially was mad that I didn't immediately um like ditch my kid's dad and like let him be new daddy and move away with him so you know that's that's kind of why things were were a little rough there and he I don't know it's, it's a long story and I guess if you ever want me to talk about the dynamic between my ex-husband and my son I can um, but that's not the point of this video so I really need to stop about talking about it now anyway he had a GameCube in the bedroom and I remember he was like with the GameCube every once in a while like the disc wouldn't wouldn't work and it would make like a noise Matthew was terrified of the the disc not being read noise he was also terrified of the starting noise um, for certain games. And he was scared of um, the, um, um, oh, sorry, I lost my train of thought. I was looking at something else. Um, but yeah, like he, he was scared of, of the, the noise, like any time like a disc couldn't be read or whatever. Oh my gosh, he would like run from his bedroom and like it scared him so much that he got to the point where he would turn on the, the GameCube and then run just in case that noise happened. Like he was so scared of that noise. And it's so goddamn funny to me how scared he was of it. Well, I didn't laugh at him at the time, but thinking about it now, it is really funny. And then um, I don't know if any of you remember or have heard of, I'm sure most of you probably have, Sonic EXE. Um, Matthew was terrified of that, like had nightmares about it. He also one time had a nightmare about the Eggman from Sonic, and he was scared of, of the Eggman for like literally years. Like he came into my bedroom and he was a sobbing mess and I had to spend several hours reassuring him that the Eggman could not hurt him and that it was going to be okay and like that was a genuine like fear for him for quite some time um and uh yeah it was uh it was interesting Matthew has always been very into video games um he's kind of moved away from console um in you know in later years as he got older and we got him like computers and stuff and now he's more about like steam games and stuff but he does have a switch um that he occasionally plays for a while there though like he he was all about he had a gamecube and then he had a wii and then he had a wii u and then he had a place uh playstation 2 um and then there was a playstation 3 in there at one point as well um Gizmo, get away from the bird. Come on, get away from the bird. Is the bird okay? Oh, yeah, the bird's okay. Um, and then we had the, um, the Nintendo Switch. I feel like there was other stuff in there. Um, Lucas is the Xbox kid. Matthew has never been an Xbox kid and now Lucas has his PC so he's more into that but I personally have always been a Nintendo person like I did like the PlayStation a little bit I had an ex-boyfriend that liked the or that um that had a PlayStation that's how I played like Pierce ID if I played Tomb Raider um the Silent Hill games stuff like that um but I've always been like Mario and Zelda were my like main things like I love a Mario game not every Mario game like I'm not really big on Mario Party I'm gonna be honest with you and I'm sorry and I do not like Super Smash Brothers don't come for me I just I don't I don't like Super Smash Brothers I'm sorry fighting games have never really been my thing even like in the Mortal Kombat days when like my ex-boyfriend had Mortal Kombat and he would play it all time um I would play it but I didn't really like it you know what I mean like I would play it because you know whatever but I didn't like it we did have a Sega um, my sister had a Dreamcast um, 
but I don't think Matthew, we never had a Sega here. I think we got one once, like somebody gave us one or something, but we didn't have the cords that was broken or something. Um, but like for my kids, I've mostly, until I got Lucas's Xbox, which I honestly like fought against for a while, I really did not want to get him an Xbox at all. Um, I just, I didn't like Xbox, I don't know, it just, it was not, I wasn't, I wasn't fond of it. Um, but it was, it was always Nintendo. Like, anything, anything Nintendo. That was, that was my thing. And then, uh, eventually, um, ooh, like I said, Matthew moved on to a computer. Lucas moved on to... Xbox and I think my bird needs food and water. He's standing at the bottom of the cage and he usually does that when he's out of food and water. Um I'm still very much a Nintendo person. I have my Switch. Like I said, I'm gonna get the PlayStation 5. I said that in my last video. Um mostly because I want Silent Hill Remastered. If they would put Silent Hill on the Switch, I would never need a PlayStation. But they hate me, so apparently they're not going to do that. Um, but yeah, yeah. I am dying. So yeah, that was Matthew as a child. He, he was scared of some weird things. But And what I always loved, here's the good thing about being somebody who played video games growing up and still to this day likes video games and having a child who loves video games. Do you know how many times my kid would bring me the controller and say, Mommy, can you help me beat this level? And I could. I have even impressed him a couple times with my ability to beat things. And I mean, not always. Sometimes I'm terrible at it and I can't beat it as, you know, proven by this particular game that I'm playing. But, oh boy. But there, there have definitely been times where I have beaten the game for my kids. And I can kick their butts in Mario Kart a lot of the time. Like, Mario Kart was my thing when I was older. Or when I was older. When I was younger. It was, it was always Mario Kart. Oh my gosh, I'm going to cry if I die. Um, oh, okay, anyway, that's it. I'm done with this. I've got one more video left when I'm done. And, uh, or I mean when I come back. And then I'm done for the night recording. But thank you guys for watching this. Um, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what weird things you were scared of when you were a kid. And tell me if you've tried these pretzel balls, because I'm telling you they're so good. Eat pretzel balls. Like, oh my gosh, they're so good. I, I was sitting at work the other day just dreaming about these things. Alright, thanks for watching. Bye.